हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी इंजीनियरिंग सर्वे फॉर हाईवे अलाइनमेंट द फर्स्ट वन इज मैप स्टडी बाय केयरफुल स्टडी ऑफ मैप्स इट इज पॉसिबल टू हैव एन आइडिया ऑफ सेवरल पॉसिबल अल्टरनेट रूट्स सो दैट फर्दर डिटेल्स ऑफ दिस मे बी स्टडीड लेटर एट दिस साइट the probable alignment can be located on the map from the following details available on the map that is alignment avoiding valleys ponds or lake that is known as obstructions when the road has to cross a new of hills possibility of crossing through a mountain pass approximate location of bridge site for crossing rivers avoiding bend of the river if any now generally we have the topographic map of a particular area where we are going to finalize our alignment now suppose that we have to connect these two points by a particular road so we will finalize a set of alignment like this now after selecting a particular set of alignment along these two points we need to select at least one or two alignments which will carry the maximum traffic as well as which will have the minimum number of obstruction alignment should be crossing a minimum number of obstruction and alignment should be drawn considering maximum utilization as well as approximate location of bridge site are also found on this map only when a road is to be connected between two stations one on the top and other on the foot of the hill like this that is one at the top and other at the foot of the hill then alternate routes can be suggested keeping in view the permissible gradient it means that while suggesting the alternate routes for connecting these two points we have to kept the permissible gradient within the permissible range so that it will not be greater than the pulling power of the vehicle now the next one is the reconnaissance survey the second stage of survey for highway location is the reconnaissance to examine the general character of the area for deciding the most feasible routes for a detailed studies now in reconnaissance survey we are going to visit the site for detailing of feature which are not available in the map so a field survey of land along the proposed alternative routes of the map in the field is studied and all relevant details not available in the map are collected and noted down it means that during the reconnaissance survey we are going to visit at this site and we are going to collect the various types of features which are not available in the map along the particular alignment now the next type of survey is the preliminary survey the main objective of the preliminary survey are to survey the various alternate alignments proposed after the reconnaissance and to collect all the necessary physical information and details of topography drainage and soil to compare the different proposals in view of the requirements of a good alignment to estimate quantity of earth work and to work out the cost of alternate proposals to finalize the best alignment from all consideration it means that in preliminary survey topographic feature chain survey leveling work traffic survey drainage study soil investigation etc are done and alignment are finalized during the preliminary survey by considering the cost of that particular alignment as well as its maximum utilization so after considering the all the parameters that is the cost of the alignment the quantity of earth work the various types of other parameters we are going to finalize the best alignment in the preliminary survey only now after preliminary survey we are going for the final location and detailed survey now the alignment finalized at the design office after the preliminary survey is to be located on the field by establishing the center line next detailed survey should be carried out for collecting the information necessary for the preparations of plans and construction details for the highway project it means that 
in detail surveying we are going for the calculation of material estimation cost estimation design planning etc are done along the finalized alignment dpr are prepared at the end of the survey that is known as detailed project report now we have to see the other parameter that is location now the center line of the road finalized in the drawing is to be translated or transferred to the ground during the location survey it means that we have to transfer the center line of the finalized road on the ground next one is the detailed survey temporary benchmarks are fixed at intervals of about 250 meter and at all drainage and underpass structure it means that we have to establish the benchmark at a fixed interval of 250 meter as well as at the site of drainage and underpass structures now levels along the final center line should be taken earthwork calculation and drainage details are to be worked out from the level notes now we have to calculate the various types of earthwork as well as drainage details from the calculated levels the cross section levels are taken up to the desired width at interval of 50 to 100 meter in plan the data during detailed survey should be elaborate and complete for preparing detailed plans design estimates of the project it means that the data collected during the detailed survey needs to be elaborated form so that we can prepare the detailed plan from that data as well as we can estimate the accurate amount of quantity of material as well as the cost of that particular alignment of the project now that is all about the engineering survey for highway alignment thank you very much students